Welcome to Brussels! In this video, I guide you around Brussels and take you along whilst visiting the best Christmas markets of Belgium. The one in Brussels and the one in Bruges, including the light spectacles. I'm on the main square and it is time for lunch, a delicious Liège waffle. These sugar waffles are my favorite. You also have Brussels waffles, but I don't like them as much. This big main square still has a lot of 14th century medieval houses. They are super beautiful. And also the town hall is the biggest building right there. At the moment there is a Christmas market going on, so I'm going to take you guys along to have a look. My waffle comes from Maison d'Andoy and apparently those are the best ones and they also have the best spiculoos, which is the Belgian gingerbread cookies. A lot of people know it as Biscoff, for example the Biscoff spread that they sell in the United Kingdom. Well it's actually from the Belgian cookies spiculoos. These are the royal galleries. Inside are many many shops. Among them is a lot of jewelry and especially a lot of local Belgian sweets and chocolates like Cubertons, but also Spiculoos cookies. And it's super beautiful to walk through. As you can see, there's a lot of Christmas decorations at the moment, so you can't miss this when you come to Brussels. You can also do lots of shopping in Brussels, not just the high street and popular brands, but also a lot of sweets and stuff from other cultures, which I personally love. These are the St. Jorik Halls. Unfortunately, they don't have that many food options. It's just one restaurant inside. Um, which is unfortunate because they could really do something really nice in there. When you come to Brussels, you can't leave before you have seen Manneke, Shanneke and Zinneke Pies. Manneke Pies is the boy and he often goes dressed in theme, for example for Christmas or for uh, the national football games, etc. And it's just a statue of a little boy peeing. People always think it's a lot bigger than it actually is. Belgium also has some really famous comic book illustrators. So you can see murals all through the city and also you can find a lot of comic book stores and even a museum. There are multiple museums. Some of my favorites are the Chocolate Museum and the Athomium, a giant atom that you can visit inside or enjoy a performance at the theater. Outside the city center, you can spot the Basilica of Kuckelberg. And in spring, the botanical gardens are worth a visit. There are many other beautiful parks, churches and squares, like the Kleine Zavel Square. From the Mount of the Arts, you have this amazing view and going even more uphill, you arrive at some of the best museums like the Musical Instrument Museum in this unique building, but also the National Palace, the Parliament and the main park. During the winter, light installations pop up around town and also the biggest Christmas market of the country. I am back in Brussels another day because the previous time I only went for drinks with my friends. This time I am going to the winter market and I am bringing a very special guest who is coming all the way from the other side of the world. If you followed me for a while, you might be able to guess who it is. She has come to live in Belgium for a while now, so you'll be seeing a lot of her, I hope. Ceci? Emocionada! Reunidas! Waffles with the caramel, cactus, cubardom, conoces cubardom, es un dulce, parece a un, una nariz, y es como cereza, y tiene sabor frambuesa, es con mucho azúcar, y eso es uh, de nuez que tiene Nutella. O sea, sí. Qué interesante, no mames. <laughs> bueno, cada quien va de este pues, cada quien. Sí, uno de esos para cada uno y el cactus y este puede probar ambos y este es nuestro más. 
After tasting some traditional Genevas, we made our way to the main square for the light show. From Brussels, Bruges is only a one hour train ride away. You can walk from the station to the city center or take this free shuttle bus. It is the coziest city to do your Christmas shopping. All shops and restaurants are decorated beautifully. On the main square you can find the biggest winter market with lots of shops and food stalls. There is a second Christmas market on the smaller Simon Stevens Square and you can find the ice rink in the Lake of Love Park. This ice rink is floating on the water and it's part of the annual light installation walk. With the free official app called Wintergloed or Winter Glow in English, you can walk around the city and spot them. When in Belgium, you can't leave before trying the beer, the fries, the waffles, and my personal favorites, Belgian stew and shrimp croquettes. So, that is it for this video. I will be making a lot more content from Lapland, so about the excursions, my tips to see the Northern Lights. Um, I will be spending New Year's Eve in Snow Village, which is an ice hotel. It is so nice, the food is unreal. I hope I'll be able to stay there this year. I'm not sure I will. So if you don't want to miss out on all of that content, make sure to subscribe, like and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss the next video. I will be guiding groups until the end of February, so I'll be gone for quite a long time. And as of March until June, I have a lot of time planned on the African continent again. Very excited about that. But, you know, with the whole new buddy coming up, I don't really know what's going to be possible in Southern Africa, so we'll just see. We still have two months in La Plate, so subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!